Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve this geometric question that involves circles and triangle. So we will find the blue triangle's area. Let's read the question. In the figure, P and Q are the centers of two tangent circles and the line PQ intersects the circles at the points A and B as shown. The larger circle touches the side CD of the rectangle ABCD at the point T. If the area of ABCD is 15 square unit, what is the area of the triangle PQT, which is blue triangle? Before we start our solution, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join our learning and teaching community. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Let's get started. So we are given the area of the rectangle ABCD. So that is 15. The rectangle area is equal to 15. We need to identify the side lengths of the rectangle to use this information. I know this line here, this line is perpendicular to the tangent. Why? Because the radius that touches the tangent line on a circle is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, it is parallel to this side length. And if I call this radius x, then this short side length will be also x. This is also x and this radius here is also x. I don't know this small circle radius. I will call it y and this side length will also be y. And I can figure out the distance on the long side of the rectangle as 2y here and x here and x here. It will be 2x plus 2y. So 15 must be equal to x as the short side length the width of the rectangle and 2y plus 2x as the length of the rectangle is equal to 15, should be equal to 15. So this is a good information. I can simplify this by getting 2s as common factor outside of this parentheses. So 2x, x plus y times x plus y is 15. And I can divide both sides to 2. I will find x times x plus y in parentheses is equal to 15 over 2. So this is an important information. Now let's try to find the triangle area in terms of y and x. So what is it going to be? Since this is a perpendicular line, the radius will act as height of the triangle. So therefore, the y plus x, x plus y, will be our base, x plus y. Area formula, if we apply this, base times height times 1 half. So triangle area will be 1 half times base is x plus y times height, that is going to be x. So we know this expression from somewhere. If we just found it in the rectangle area, if we plug that in into this value, so we will rewrite the triangle area as one half times 15 over two. So the area of triangle will be 15 over four square unit. And this is our solution. I hope you enjoyed this solution and you like the question. If you have another approach, Please don't hesitate to share your approach or solution in the comments so everyone can see and we can improve our perspective. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe and join our community. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.